It's, it's getting big. Oh, be quiet. <laughs> You're you a all, character. I don't think people know how much of a character you got. You got someone in shirt. Made, made you look. See what I mean? Up, like, come on. <laughs> well, let's get back to the question, Jay White. Do That's you it. feel like you get enough recognition in this music industry? And the answer is... No. Okay, wait. No and yes. In the industry, I feel like I do. Like, as far as my peers go, they know who I am. But as far as, like, a regular person on the street, nah. Like, I could be standing next to them and that they, they wouldn't know who I am. Artists know who you are. The artists know. Artists know. Industry labels. They they know. Insiders know who I you are. I get the are. phone calls from them. Yes. But, like, if I walk down the street right now, oh, my God, I don't know you. <laughs> Why is that? Promotion and branding. You, you talking know. about for your label or for yourself? It's for myself. You know, I've, I've, I've been trying to figure out things to do for myself, but, you know, like, not having your tag, not being, I don't go to clubs, I don't go to concerts, like, you're not going to see me with the artist, and I don't do much. Does that really matter to you? Do you really care for people, regular people to know who you are? Um, are you okay with, like, having the inside people know, like, your name? Uh, I mean, that holds more weight, right? You know? i tell you this, I'm in it to win it. Yeah. You know, so I, I want everything that comes with, you know, this side of the industry. Right. You know, like, if, if I really wanted to uh, just be laid back, I could really be more laid back. But no, nah, I'm actively trying. Like, I, I want people to know, like, my, my personality is too big, you know, and I yeah. want people, I feel like I can help more if more people know me. Yeah, I I, tell you, I get like it irritates me that because yeah. first of all I consider you triple D. I don't care where you was born. I don't I've care where you time. was raised. I consider all you day. straight from the triple D. All, all and all so day. when I see these other producers out here, and I see the you know the Michael Maiden, yeah. I see the Zaytovens, yeah. and I see the popularity. I see the Swiss Beats. I see everybody out, yeah. and I don't see Jay White. I get irritated because I'm yeah. like, yo, I know he's a super producer. He's so talented. Yeah. You know, run down just from Bodak Yellow to Twenty One Savage a lot um, to the Gucci's new one Big Booty Waptober you got two joints on Waptober hey, got Money Bag by Cardi B Money I like it, I like it. Um, and I'm you know yeah. and I'm not look I'm just gonna say this I think it might have been the what we know you from yeah. mainly you know all those joints you had with Cardi B you never tagged and I think that might be where yeah. those big moments you missed out on putting yourself out there because you was thinking about the artist first. Yeah, I, I was more concerned. We need the music out there, like with Bodak especially. I was more like, man, we need a song to come out like that's gonna chart. If not, I don't know what is gonna happen next. You know, like literally, like we've been going for a year and a half strong and nothing sticking, nothing sticking, nothing sticking, nothing sticking. So I didn't care. I was like, oh, man, I'm broke. I need some money. I need some some hit radio. You need to tell Cardi B because I know y'all got a new joint coming up. Um, can you talk about it? Because she's already did a social media post about her making the new album. She she, oh, she was did. in the room. She was in the hotel room with the with the mattress up on the wall oh, she did. with the she chair was? by the mattress. Oh. And remember, she said they wanted two thousand dollars for her to get in the studio that night, and she's not paying two thousand dollars. So she was recording a song I ain't in the hotel that. room. Well, she did. Yeah, I'll show it to you. What? She was talking about the new album. I don't know, but. I don't know about what song. But you not. are going to be on the new album. Yes. How many joints? I don't know yet, but I'm I'm working. And are you going to put your tag on them? That's the focus. That's the goal. But, you know, I, I, I want to be in a video. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be in a video. You know, I'm with that, though. You know, I bought these teeth for a reason. Yes. I want are, them to show. They're okay. nice teeth, too. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Like, no, like, I want to be in a like, like, look, I looked up to... Timberland, Jazzy Faye, Swiss Beats, Dr. Dre, like these type of guys. So I've always modeled myself after these type of, you know, for real, these type of guys. Like I can do a lot of different things. So I just, you know, need to do it. It's time much. for you to be in the video. You got to yeah. put yourself into the video. Shout out to Gucci. I'm in a big booty video uh, for like eight seconds. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a split strong, though. A strong eight seconds. A strong, no, it was like quick, quick, quick. You know, if you put it together, it's eight seconds. Okay. But, you know, like a second still. But hey, I'm in it though. Yeah. So. How about how many songs do y'all work on before y'all figure out how many actually make a cut? For who? For Gucci. Talking about Gucci. Man, me and Gucci just go. Me and Gucci did seven songs like last month and a day. Hey. <laughs> we'll probably like never hear those songs, right? Yes, you will. Oh, will? Gucci, yeah, Gucci gonna, oh, he lets everything out. I'm he, not gonna lie. He don't say records. I got a taste of you in the studio and, like, how you work. Yeah. And he, like, he brings the, like, the fun and the oh, yeah. 
the mu the the art artistry out of you. Like at one point, I remember one time I said something and I was like, "Yeah, I don't really rap like that." And you were like, "Yeah, you do." And you started playing the beat. He started rapping and he had me rapping and he like he lured me in, bro. It was like it was an amazing it was an amazing feat. It's an emotion. That's all it is. Yeah. Music ain't hard. It's just do it, you know, and put it out. So for somebody to hear, somebody gonna like it. If you can think it, somebody else thinking the same thing. Where did the more hits on the way come from? Uh, I was on the billboard a lot. <laughs> I love a lot. I, love I was on the billboard a lot. <laughs> you just came and you was like, yo, this is going to be like my... Listen, like, 2017, like, 2018, you know, beginning of 2019, like, I literally, like, found a house on the billboard and just stayed on it, you know what I mean, as far as with Bodak and, you know, I like it, and then just having a lot and money out at the same time was just like, whoa. Yeah. So now I'm just, you know, building the next big, you know, Wave Do you ever head. feel like you need to come into the room and push your penis on the table and let them know how big you really are? Big, <sighs> you know, for, for real, just when you walk into the room, do you feel like you need to do that? There have been times that as a woman, I felt yeah. like I need to come in the room and I need to put my penis on the table to show everybody what this really actually looks like so you will respect the game right here. I do it sometimes. I do it sometimes. That, you Who know, you have to do that with? There's a few, few, few people. I don't, I don't want to give him the, 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 the credit of right, saying his right, name. Right. I don't even want to say his name, you know. But, you know, recently I got tried by somebody, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I was like, come, come on, bro. Like, look, just, just, just be happy that we black people and, and we made it. And just know I sold more records than you. Okay. <laughs> I just saw your business. Seriously. That's I just it. saw Facts. it on the coffee table. That, that's Facts. it. You know, so I, you know, and then I just put it back up. <laughs> and and back up. Eat, eat my food and keep, keep going and, and pray for you at the same time. Uh, you know, but nah, I, I mean, I, I feel like my, my work speaks for itself. And, you know, I don't want to stoop down to, you know, a lot of people just don't, they don't understand. Mm -hmm. You know, so my actions will always speak. I'm like, that's okay. I, you, you'll see me. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, with anything. Like, for years and years and years, I'm always, like, I sit here, I see the artist blow up, producer blow up. I'm like, man, it's okay. One day, they'll see me. You're very humble. It's just upbringing. Just up, um, upbringing and insecurity. Insecurity. The last time we spoke, I remember you telling us about how you was feeling before you even made Bodak Yellow. Oh, yeah. About the place you was in. Dark. And you was in the dark place. Yeah. And you talked about it for the first time yeah. on getting out of there. And, you know, right now, mental health is such a big issue Huge. right now. We're taking care of ourselves. It is so good to see black men especially take care of themselves yeah. and admit that they have mental health problems like Wale for example yeah. like you know Wale talked about anxiety anxiety is just not like oh my god I'm anxious anxiety yeah. is when your body shuts down when you are mentally incapable of yeah. doing certain physical things in your life mm -hmm. and did you ever feel like that did you ever go through that when you was in your dark place I mean I still go through it you know I, I'm, I'm not perfect now you know I, I still you know find myself shutting down I just got out of that space, mm -hmm. like literally like a week or two ago, but I still get out and smile and keep going, but it's like, it's, it's a constant battle that, you know, it's, it's, I feel like as humans and, and when we're striving to be great, you always want to have that, right. you know, so it's just something that you got to be mindful of, and I know that I am, I wasn't before, but you know, I'm definitely mindful of it, therapist, everything. Like, so you do see a therapist? Yes, like I, I make me and my daughter, like every single week to, to, to talk about, you know, our daily, weekly issues with, within ourselves and by ourselves to, you know, get it out. You know, I wasn't, you know, as a kid, I wasn't able. They said the church was our therapist. Mm -hmm. It was ain't nothing wrong with that, but it's like, I feel like we got professionals. Let's, let's really talk about it as black people. Let's really get ourselves together. How did you start seeing a therapist? Like, what happened that, in that did somebody come to you and say, hey, this is what you need to do? Or how did you make that transition? Because somebody watching yeah. doesn't know how yeah. to make that transition. Like, what was the, the point where you said, okay, this is when I need to go? Um, it was like, we all have our own buttons. So really just my, my daughter, man, I need to go. Like, I need to become a better father. To my daughter, I may not be doing the best things. Because you're not right there in the same city as her. I'm not in the same so. city as my daughter. So it's like, okay, where's the disconnect? Why are we? Why is there a disconnect here? Why am I not getting it here? So what is that? So that's something that I need to find out. And mm -hmm. you're not going to tell me or your mother. So we need to we need to talk about it somewhere else. You still have a good relationship with the mother? Yeah, yes, I do. Now, I, I feel like, you know, I have two kids. I have a kid here and a 
did and die. I mean, in Kansas City, and you know, both my kids' moms are, are good people. I don't ever bash, you know, my kids, you know, moms, you know, because yeah. they hold them down while I'm out here, you know, and trying to provide. Trying to provide, you know, everywhere I go, you know, I'm I'm up twenty four seven, and they stay at the house, you know, and they doing what they gotta do. They with them when they sick, lonely, crying, and sad. I'm not, you know, most of the time. So, I appreciate both of them. Mm. You need another one? <laughs> you know, <laughs> because I got friends. Mm. She's asking for a friend. I'm asking for a friend. I don't. For me, I don't feel like I. I don't, I don't need no more kids. I don't, I don't think it's fair for, for another kid to be, you know, come out of, you know, come from me. You right, because you're not in a. I'm too in busy. A, in a stable place, like one place, one house. I'm never stopping. Because I'm, I'm, more hits are on the way. I'm Quincy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> and you should be getting that Quincy Jones recognition. It, you know what? Back to that. But. <laughs> Back to that brother that but you it, had to it, pull it, it out and, and 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 yeah, you time. know. I got a question for you, Jay White. Talking about the music, yeah. In the stage of the career, in, in your career today, where you are today, and I know you got more hits on the way. Yeah. You know, I know that's the label that you, you yeah you put together. That's my team. So, is the objective for Jay White to start signing artists, and then more importantly, my next that's question number one. Yeah. Question number two is. Give me three artists that you have not worked with that you would like to work with. That's on your personal wish list. Okay, so um, sign the artists. Definitely, that's always the goal to get new talent, new producers, new writers, just to keep paying this forward. Uh, I'm always looking, but I just haven't found none that connects with me. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of dope talent here in Dallas. I see, you know, in, everywhere I go, but it's not about that. I, if, if I don't connect with you, I, you know, I'm gonna waste my, I'm wasting my time and your time. So right. you're a vibey type of person. That's it. If the vibe is right, we can Absolutely. win. You gotta you know? be with them face to face. What? Yeah. I gotta meet you. I done met, I done flew people out and sat with them like, mm. uh, dang. <sighs> dang. Take no artists. Take it's no. Okay, I love you, but mm -hmm. yeah. me and you ain't gonna work. Right. Um, artist wise, like, I haven't got Drake yet. Uh, man, it's work with Drake. Drake it's got like, fall twenty twenty popping. It's 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 so there's so many artists out here like I'm. I've never been a person to be like, man, I want to work with this guy one day. I always want to blow up the artist. Have you ever heard of Mono y Mono? No. <laughs> Mono. Cruz is old rapper. That's me and my brother's old rap group. Mono y Mono? Jay, can you vouch for me? I can rap. Can you no, let me know you, I can rap? Man, you just, hey. you, what you mean actions is A? Hey, hey, it's an action hey, word. Let's go. We got it. Oh, no, no I can't do it right now. No, 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 He's well, putting you on the spot. Not out right now. We, well, we ain't got enough time. We don't got enough time. I'm going to okay. tell you why I, I, I got you here. I, You know, you just recently I saw T.I. talking about his top 50, right? Yeah. And he said Hove called him. Yeah. And, and they were talking about something totally different. Yeah. But in the midst of the conversation, yeah. Hove asked T, so I'm really number two? You know, like, because Tupac was number one. Yeah. He put Hove number two. And yeah. then he explained that he felt that Hove might be the greatest living rapper right now. Yeah. But he felt Tupac was number one. I, I know, I don't know, because it's it look cute on you. Um, <laughs> Y'all can tell me this. So go ahead, hold, go ahead, finish. I'm like, but I'm looking at headphones, headphones on. Let's being, go. Being a Grammy Award winning, Soul Train Award winning. We, well, we didn't win yet. We were good. Come on now, I'm putting it into Man. existence. Man, y'all, man, look we're here. Putting it into existence. Bodak now. didn't win a Grammy, and I like it. Didn't win a Grammy either. Like we lost, and everybody said we was gonna win, but we won. You album, win it. You don't like Drake. Said so you got your Grammy, Jay White. You got your Grammy. You eat. You still eating off <laughs> of money. I'm, I'm you eating. eating off of Bodak. You I eat, am. and those are your Grammys. You eat Grammys every night. But you played the game to win. Yes. You don't feel like you I like win. that. No, look at you. No, you know I. Because I, I don't want you to get caught up in just like, you know, because look how long it took Drake to win a Grammy. And he was winning so much before yeah. that. It was almost like he had to say he didn't want a Grammy to win a Grammy. You know what? Sometimes, with, you know, different strokes for different folks. Like, with me, it's like, I've, I've always said I want to win a Grammy. Like, before the money, because the money going to come. I don't, even, I don't ever put money or... I just want that Grammy because that's like a producer. In or, your world, that's your that's recognition. Our that's that's our how Bowl. you show. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. your Super Bowl ring. That's, that's your ring. Yes, that's so. your claim to fame in a lot of ways because that's yeah. how you fall into the categories when they're talking about Grammy Award winners. You want your name to come up. Exactly. But it's coming, Jay. Grammys. It's I, coming. I mean, I, I got one. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm about to say. You got a Grammy. I, I, I you got, got a Grammy. Grammy. What are you hey, talking you about? Are, you know, heavy? Like, like that. I mean, you huh? got more is coming. Is it heavy? Uh, see, look, this is this is why. I always wanted to know. No, see, I I don't know because. Hold that thought, Jay. Hold that thought because I want to know your top five. Oh. I need your top five rappers of all time. Not five. I need your top ten greatest rappers of all time. Dang. Ten. Start from ten. 
start from 10. Don't be afraid. I don't, I don't know if I know 10 rappers. Okay, then do eight. Hey, that's a lot. Because I, no, you know 10 rappers. And think about it. When you do this again another time, it'll be another list. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going a little bit. I didn't listen to rap music. Growing up. Growing up. R&B. I listened gospel. to rock, soft rock. Oh, rock, soft rock. Yeah, I, mm. I, I always tried to escape like my own reality, so I always, like, it's just my issues. I want to be somebody else. Really? Yeah, so I listen to soft rock. So do you see yourself producing a soft rock track at in the near point, future? At this point, no. <laughs> I Why mean, not? I mean, I would, if, but, like, my, you know, nah. Well, then, then you have to give I'm me your R&B top though. five, but you got to give I'm me your top rappers. five then. I got to give Yay. I, I, I love Kanye. I don't care what they say. If he don't write or not, I still like his songs. Well, what about well, who said he ain't writing his own raps? Wasn't that in the T.I. interview? He said that, uh, you he know. He wasn't talking about Kanye when he said that, was he? Uh, that's what I heard. Yeah. Um, um, um. Are you telling me Kanye, there's a rumor Kanye's not writing his own raps? I mean, honestly, I'm no rumor. I'm I, think, I, think every, no rumor. I think probably everybody, <laughs> everybody no has help now and then. I feel like, I, no, listen. no, I don't think so. I don't think Kendrick Lamar gets help. I don't think, I, I don't think, I think there's rapper, I don't think J. Cole gets any help writing. Now, listen, if you I'm help surprised. me, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, Jay, let's talk about this. Right. We're in the studio, I'm a rapper, you're a producer. Yeah. You help me write the hook of the song. The whole okay? song. L- l- no, no, hold on. I wrote the verses. Yeah. But you and me together collectively wrote the hook. Yeah, I'm with it. Okay. Yeah. Now, does that mean I have a ghostwriter as a rapper? No. No. You help me write the hook or you help me write the bridge. I'm that's with that's it. cool. But. I'm like, the the verse good. itself, rappers cannot have other people write their verses. Let me tell you why. You can't. You're I'm, not. No, 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 you're done. You're done. I gotta tell you why, though. Okay, well, that's fine. A comedian has, they have writers that help yeah. them tell real life jokes. Like, they are writers. Yeah, We're talking about rap. Writers. We're not it's talking about same, comedy. No, it's, it's not. Same, it's not the same, same thing. Format. But, same. But, but to what he's saying is, like, when you write in a rap, you write more than one rap. So you got write rap after rap yes. after rap after That's rap. That's how I feel. Even people who write books have people help them write books. Yeah. Like, you have the story. The story is yours. Yeah. But when you're That's writing a book, someone is there to help you with the forward, to help you with to this. To get it right. To get it right. To put the ends and the ands and the buts in there sometimes. But you are the author. Yeah. But sometimes you get a co author yeah. that don't always get the credit of co-author. I've heard Drake say, you know, people don't write his raps, but he do keep people in the room Why in not? order to give him energy, in order to give him some type of suggestion. That's different, though. Are, are you seriously justifying ghostwriters for rappers? Is that where we're at no, now, where no, rappers no. have ghostwriters? Because I quit. <laughs> I swear to God, I quit hip-hop wait, if wait. it's okay for wait. rappers to have ghostwriters. I quit. I, it, but it's been like that since day one. I mean, from what I see, look, I'm in the studio with these guys, and you're in the room. And you are in the room. I just see what I see. I don't. You know. You're talking to a man in Jay, the room. You're talking I, I to a man in that's the room. Fine. I'm asking you your opinion. Yeah. On, you think it's okay? I feel like I'm not talking about collaborating on a song, no, Jay. I feel, I feel that's like different. It is. That's fine. I feel like, I feel like collaborating okay. on a yes. song, but if you literally wrote half of the man's verse, that's unacceptable. But it's coming from his place, though. He can't articulate it the way you can. That's unacceptable. It's like writing a book. Unacceptable. It's the same thing. I, I can't. Okay, Kendrick, well, Kendrick Lamar said it. Ye, Ye is your number five. You, yay. you forgot the yay. yay. Ye is your number five, Kanye. Yay. Um, I mean, yay, I like Jay-Z, of course. Where is he at on the list? It's one through five. See, uh, that's you got argument. To. It well, is. go ahead. It's hard Argue to with it. Because I like yay over everybody. Personally. Okay, so we're going to put Ye at the top. Uh, I'm saying well, that's because I, I like his songs. I can relate to his music. Okay. Jay-Z, I can't relate to none of his... I don't know what he... Ta- I don't... I've never sold... <laughs> you never sold drugs. I, 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 I've, I've never, you know... I don't know. You I, can relate to some of the stuff he talks about. I can't name you a verse. What? Jay-Z verse? I can't You ain't got... You got... Well, you got 99 problems, I, Jay White. There it, you go. It, I, I know that. Okay. You know what? You about to have another one. I, I know Dust Off Your Shoulders, right? Uh-huh. Girl, I know you know that. You sound so Kansas City, Kansas. <laughs> Oh, you sweet Lord. So Kansas City, Kansas City. I'm putting Tech Nine in my top five, too, now. Now you talk. I like Tech Nine, though. I like Tech Nine. Okay, nobody writing Tech Nine's lyrics. Definitely not. Definitely See, not. you're so adamant there. But Chris Kyle Ain't nobody writing Jay Cole's lyrics. Ain't nobody writing Kendrick Lamar's lyrics, bro. How we know? Because, I, because I'm a fan, and are I know. I feel it in my heart. Yes, <laughs> I feel it in my soul. Why are you studio with them? Because I know, but I feel it in my soul. Because I'm a hip hop fan, and you can tell when somebody writes their own verses. Okay, did Drake write his own? Dr. Dre, did he write his own verses? Drake, Dre, Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre, no. Eminem, you could tell when Eminem was writing his verses. There's a movie out about Diddy, that. Diddy, you could tell when people were writing for Diddy. But it sound good. This man here, as Jay, long as it sound good, Jay, I'm with it. 
I don't care. Listen, you can. Look. Well, we gotta agree to disagree. That's Get, just, give me a writer. It's give me a writer, and I'm listen. I'm gonna be your top five too. <laughs> <laughs> give me a what? Uh, I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with getting help. Yeah, no, no, no. We got, we got cell phones to call. That's help. We, we got help to help us get through. We got cars now. Look, a line or two? Okay, you come in and you help me with a line or two? If you write half of my verse, there's a problem. Why, though? There's a problem. Well, why? Because it's unacceptable. This is rap. Rap is about the rapper. We we like the rapper for his raps. Not Like, if you're not writing them, it. I want to meet the guy who wrote it. I don't want to meet you. You might not want to. It's the reason why they're behind too. You might not want well, to. We know rappers that, don't always rap but about what's really going on in their lives. Yeah, rappers clearly don't rap about what's only going on with yeah. their lives. You got half these rappers out here rapping about cars and jewels and women they've never seen before. Dr- I don't cars look, that they, look. they they've only had in their videos. Six Somebody nine is barely rapping. People love him. <sighs> You're hurting my heart. Yes, they. You know what? I'm not You're mad at six nine. You're hurting my heart. Six nine did a pretty move good over. Job. Take her, you're hurting my heart. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Stay in the room. 